Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the FIFA 21 Creator Club series. So we start this episode in 5th and yeah, um, pretty much again playing 3 games and showing you the primary highlights. Um, yeah, apologies for episode 6 being so short. Um, like I said in the back end of the episode, something did come up and I had to sort of rush to finish the episode as quickly as possible. Um, but that has been resolved, so I will be taking my time um, with each episode from here on. Hopefully nothing else comes up. But anyway, fifth going into a game against Oldham, who are 10th. Uh, let's have a look. They have scored 27, conceded 27. We've scored 40. We've scored 42. And wow, we have a 27 goal difference. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. That is incredible. Um, you know what? Fair. We'll just move into this game. All right, guys. So all the athletic in the red and white kit. We are in our home kit, the blue kit right there. It is the 21st of November. So we should actually be somewhere through December um, at the end of this episode. But yeah, we move into this uh game the oldham game with the rotation team let's see if we can get three points all right guys so 23 minutes into the game and if i'm being honest there hasn't been a lot of chances and um, there has been a lot of misplaced passing i say there's not been many chances in there get a chance right there uh good save by hudson but yeah there hasn't been a lot of chances like we've had a chance with armstrong who should have probably had a better like put a better shot in um but there has been a lot of like misplaced passing there's been a lot of like loose balls and you know what? Hunter's offside. <laughs> like, yeah, there's been a lot of that as well. Um, so, it's touch and go. It is touch and go. Um, you know, there's been a lot of free kicks as well. There's been a lot of fouls. So, it hasn't exactly been the smoothest of games. Let's just dink that out to Richardson. That's a fantastic ball by Armstrong on his weak foot. Robinson sees returns it to Armstrong with the header. 1-0. Beautiful. Thank God for that. Oh, that was beautiful. That was good play. That was good play. But yeah, no, there was a, there has been a lot of misplaced pass and a lot of fouls and stuff like that. And it has been a pretty open game. Um, but we do manage to get the breakthrough there with Robinson and Armstrong linking up. That was a fantastic ball by Armstrong on his weaker foot to find Robinson in the first place. And then obviously the header there, the return sort of like, you know what? You give it to me, so I'll give it back to you. That sort of thing uh, from the boys. And that header right there sees it fly into the back of the net. We are one nil up. Stand him up. Stand him up, Liam. Stand him up. He's not going anywhere. Okay, he's going somewhere now. <laughs> ah! He's juked us. He's juked. He's juked. Good defending by Reed. Let's just get that clear. Let's let's just get that clear. Holy shit! That was uh... <laughs> the, the 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 attacker there on the right hand side kind of juked me, but you know what? We we move forward. Good tackle Stokes. Hunter. Please. You're one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. It's Isaac Hunter. He puts it away into the bottom corner of the net. It is 2-0, ladies and gentlemen. Okay then, guys. So we are 2-0 up at half-time. This is out of the second half. That's just pinged straight into Chambers. That was fantastic control, considering the ping. And if I'm being honest, we are in total control. Like, we are in absolute total control. Hunter, three. Beautiful. It's a it's a see it's as easy as that it was straight from kickoff. Um, don't know if the kickoff glitch is a thing in cream mode, but that is that is three 0 from Isaac Hunter and he's on two for the match now. But yeah, we were two 0 up at half time. We are now three 0 up. As I said, we're in total control of this game, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you know, Oldham seemed to play about with it at the back a lot, um, which allowed obviously Stokes to to win the ball for Isaac Hunter's uh, first goal, the second goal for the, for two 0 Um, and if I'm being honest. It was, uh, you know, it was, it was, total, like I say, we're in total control. We're, we're dominating the midfield. They're not, they're not getting very far um, towards our box. So it is what it is, and we are seeing the point out. Raw coming forward, Whelan, good tackle, Rodwell, good, good dribbling, Rodwell, <laughs> Richardson into Chambers, puts that ball straight through for Robinson. He sees Armstrong. Armstrong takes a touch on the left foot with the finish for 4 nil. As casual as you like. Armstrong receives it from Stokes. Straight through for Hunter. He's got Robinson coming in. It's Robinson! 
Never mind. Terrible header. Absolutely terrible header. But it is 4 0. Yeah, going into the like the last minute. Like to be fair, do are we are we actually concerned? Absolutely not. There's the referee's full time whistle, ladies and gentlemen, and it is a 4 0 win. And I'm like I say, I'm not I'm not I'm not fussed that Robinson missed that. It's not like we were one one or anything. But it is a 4 0 victory, and Isaac Hunter there is your man of the match with a perfect ten. Robinson nine Armstrong 9.5, Chambers there 8, 8.5 there for Stokes. Everyone else in the defence had an average rating, including the goalkeeper, because there wasn't a lot happening. So yeah, the the front the front three there getting all the plaudits. All right, guys. So a quick sim coming up, and it is Mansfield Town 24th of November, and we move into the game. So it's a, like I say, a quick sim going into this one. It's a two nil victory. We absolutely dominated Mansfield Town, who started the game in 19th place in the table. Uh, Wilson getting a goal there for us as well as Scott. So, good victory, 2-0. Cambridge United, ladies and gentlemen, who start the game in 22nd place in the table. 20th of November, quick sim with the second team. We move forward and it's a 1-1 draw. We started the game, we started this game in third place, by the way. Rodwell getting our goal and Noles getting theirs. They scored first. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, I thought I'd quickly bring up the league table. We are third going into this game against uh harrogate town who are 15th or something along those lines they are 15th indeed and <laughs> um if Leighton orient and the colchester games oh actually Leighton orient and colchester play each other i've just seen that down the right hand side so if they draw and we win, we go second. We can potentially go second after this game, ladies and gentlemen. So, it is the played game against Harrogate. And we are going with the first team, I do believe. I think it's the first team. It is. It's Wilson, it's Johnson and Ince up front. It's Kane and Scott in the midfield. It's Bale, Terry, Archer, Baker and Gardner in the defence with Stockdale and goal. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll switch to the away kit as well. But... We could potentially go second here on the 1st of December, 2020. Scott. Switches it straight out to Ince. Good first touch. It's Ince. Who swings it in to Wilson. 1-0. Good goal. Can't say anything else. Just making noises because I can. But <laughs> you've, got the, you've got the crowd in the background in their winter gear. And they're just like, yes, lads. Let's go. <laughs> You sexy bastards. <laughs> but yeah, no, 1 0, ladies and gentlemen. And hope, like I say, if Leighton Orient and Colchester end up drawing, we go second. Bale gets his cross in. There's no one actually in the middle. Like, we have a striker and a right winger in this team. And they were, you know, they were, they were nowhere to be seen. But that's a block by Ince into Kane, into Wilson. Wilson with the shot. 2 0, good goal. All right, guys, so 2 0 at half time. And again. Dominate, absolutely a dominating performance from the boys. Um, that's a terrible pass by Wilson. He needs to, we need to work on his passing and training, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, moving into the second half, ladies and gentlemen, and the best possible case for us would be if Leighton Orient and Colchester are drawing, then that's obviously the best case scenario for us because we would go second in that case. We would overtake Colchester, who were in second. Leighton Orient would be top on 43. Would We would be second on 42 with goal, with the goal difference. Um, and then, obviously, Colchester would drop to third with their lower goal difference than ours uh, because we've got the highest goal difference in the league right now. So, it is an interesting time. It is a very interesting time. And, yeah, like I say, um, best case, you know, be best scenario for us would genuinely be to, you know, score a third. Yes, Georgie Johnson. <laughs> Would be to obviously win this game and hope that they draw. But yeah, that is Georgie Johnson. That is a three. That is three 0 That is a another cross provided by Ince. Just a little finesse cross there, uh, and the cushioned header into the back of the net for three 0 I'm Kermit the Frog. Hello, Miss Piggy. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 please be onside. He is. Oh, <laughs> I was, I'm just sitting here, like, 
<laughs> I'm Kermit the Frog. And then, like... <laughs> and then that happens. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> See, this is the part of the... This is, this is what happens when you don't commentate and you're just focusing on the actual game. Like, <laughs> you just sat there sort of minding your own business and you're like, Hello, guys. And then, yeah. <laughs> we end up scoring a fourth. But anyway, 4-0 four in... Believe it or not, the first attack from them in the second half, that they're going to score it. No, they're not. Kanan has missed that. He was wide open. The defense went to sleep. And he was, believe it or not, in the best position uh, to, you know, register a shot. And man's just completely fucked that. That's outside of the box, surely. Yeah, I was going to say, ref. <laughs> I was about to say, referee, um, that was outside the box. Yeah, no, you know, like, come on, G. Anyway, fail to have a shot here. Um, we're actually going to stick some top spin on this. And just, us, have some of that. <laughs> I was about to say, that was outside the box, referee. But that is 5-0, and that is Adam Bale's first goal of, um, I do believe that is Adam Bale's first goal of the series. But this is a beautiful little knuckleball free kick um, into the top corner from the man, the myth, the legend himself, at left back. And that is 5-0. Let's just win the ball back, please. Thank you. Counter-attack. Counter-attack. Georgie Johnson's running through. I see you, Georgie. I see you, son. I see you, Georgie. I see you, son. 6-0. I didn't... I shouldn't have looked... I shouldn't have took my off the screen, because that... I want. I obviously want the clean sheet, obviously. But by taking my eye off the ball, they had a chance. They nearly scored. Stockdale saved us. We end up somehow getting a counter-attack and scoring that. That is 6-0, ladies and gentlemen. Game over. Game finished. Game was over at 3-0. What do you mean? Alright guys, so Eric Wilson is your man of the match with a perfect 10. George Johnson there, 9.7. Ince, 9.7. Uh, Beale there, 8.2, who scored that fantastic knuckleball free kick. Ryan Scott there, 8.9 in the midfield. He had a fantastic game as well. So did uh, Tyron Kane there and everyone else on an average rating. But to be fair, we have shown why we have the biggest goal difference in the league. We yet again, another fantastic and dominating performance from the boys. Um, and we we literally can't complain. We cannot complain with that performance. And would you look at that? Look at who we have now. It's Colchester. <laughs> it is, however, in the FA Cup, ladies and gentlemen. It's the 4th of December. Paul Taney is the uh, referee for today's game. And yeah, we move into this one. Um, I'll just show you the highlights, the, you know, the goals from this one, if there is any. Um, and if there isn't, if it ends up being a nil-nil, which it shouldn't because it would go to extra time penalties probably. Um then you're not going to see much. But anyway, <laughs> we should be we should be able to beat Colchester. Um, so yeah, we'll move into this game and I'll show you the highlights. Chambers. Hunter. Good turn. Into Chambers. 1-0. Wasn't wasting that chance. Wasn't wasting that chance at all, ladies and gentlemen. 1-0. Harry Chambers. Bro, Colchester are all over us right now and there's nothing I can do. Like... They have so much, like, agility, if that's the word. That's a good pass. That's Chambers. Please. Oh, my God. It's fine. We get a second chance with Delph. Into Chambers. Head out 2-0. But Colchester, we've caught them on the counter-attack. Like, we are, we are the counter-attack kings. Right, I'm not debating that, but Colchester have literally been all over us, guys, and it's absolute madness how, like, you know, uh, they can, they're literally playing like Barcelona. It's the best way to describe it. They're literally playing like Barcelona. Tiki Taka one start like one touch football, and there's not a lot I can do to, to prevent it. They're getting so far, they're getting into the box really, like, regularly. Um, and, the, and their two wingers are absolutely devastating. So I'm having to, like, sort of focus a lot. But we are managing to stay... I, st I say we're, we're managing to stay stay alive. 
in this game. But it's stuff like that. What the hell is that? Like, come on, man. Get rid of the ball. Delph. Through for Ross Armstrong. No one with him, so he's going to take the shot. It's saved by the keeper. And that's gone out for a corner. Still need to change the corner taker. So I will actually do that. Richardson to swing this in. It's into Chambers. Chambers! Chambers is on for his hat-trick, ladies and gentlemen. It is 2-0 thanks to two, two goals from Harry Chambers. Um, so Richardson's going to swing this in again. It's Chambers who rises. Chambers with the header for three. That is the my boy's hat-trick, Harry Chambers, who is on about 12 or 11 for the season now. And this this midfielder, guys, this this is, believe it or not, our CDM. Um, is an absolute goal machine. Like, he's out jumping people and heading out, you see. It's just fantastic. And I love this kid. I genuinely, genuinely love this kid. Hunter. Robinson. Carved them apart like a Sunday roast. Robinson! Good finish. 4-0. Alright, guys, and after that 4 0 victory against Colchester, the man, the myth, the legend that is Harry Chambers. Got a perfect 10 rating there in the center of midfield. Robinson there on a 9.7. Heisek under there, 8.9. Everyone else on an average rating. Good performance from the boys. Second half was a lot easier than the first, believe it or not. Um, but no, Harry Chambers, man. Legend. Absolute legend. All right, guys, and at the end of this episode, we are second. Best case scenario coming through. Um, yeah, like I said, we have the highest goal difference there on 39. Um, and yeah... It worked out, it did work out, it did work out. So yeah, we we finished this episode in second place. We move into the FA Cup after just beating Colchester and it is a second round replay, so we don't actually know who we get in the next round. In the next game though, we have the AFL Trophy second round against uh, Harrogate Town and that is a winnable game. We will, I'll probably just sim it to be honest because I'm not bothered about the trophies. I just want to focus on the league at least for the first couple of seasons. Um, and then maybe when we get into the championship, I'll start focusing on some silverware. Um, but to be fair, we're, we're, we're doing more than okay. We're doing more than okay. Um, Champions League, Europa League, we're not in any of them competitions, so we're not, we don't need to bother. Are we still in the Carabao Cup or did we get knocked out? We got knocked out, didn't we? Yeah. We got beat off someone. We got beat off Brentford 2-1, that's right. Um, anyway, <laughs> moving back into League 2, like I say, we, we, finished this, we finished this episode in second place. So thank you so very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this episode, drop a thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button and the notifications icon so you know when I release your content or go live. Like I said, guys, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.